What's up, you beautiful viewers? My name is Woke. I'm an artist from Connecticut. And my girlfriend's birthday is coming up, so I think I'm going to surprise her with a painting. She's an artist herself, so I'm hoping she'll like it. And I'm going to take you guys through every step of the process. Okay, so to start, my canvas is going to be this piece of wood. So I grabbed my iPad Pro. I took a picture. And now I'm going to hold down the image until it gives me the option to copy. And then I'm going to paste it into Procreate. And that erased the background so that I don't have to worry about it and I can start drawing on top of the image. Okay, so like I said, I'm using the Procreate app on the iPad Pro to sketch in a separate layer on top of this piece of wood and just kind of get the shapes down, get a rough idea of what I'm gonna do, which I forgot to tell you guys. I am painting my girlfriend as a flamingo because it is her favorite animal. So this would be a fun one to me just because there's a lot of uh, use of colors that would be just super vibrant. I love the pinks. Uh, my girlfriend has purple hair and there's this yellow green kind of neon hat that she wears. So I thought that that would uh, definitely make for a good painting as far as the use of colors. So like I said, using the 6B sketching pencil, fine tuning with the ink uh, pen, the technical pen, sorry, under inking. And then once it's done, I can then transfer that onto the piece of wood. Okay, Lisa is sleeping. I told her that I am going to get breakfast and I'm not a liar, so I'm actually gonna have to stop and get some breakfast. But luckily the shop is very close to Dunkin' Donuts and the house. So I can go to the shop real quick. I can print out the drawing that I'm going to transfer onto the wood. So I have to size it out correctly. So we gotta do this very, very quickly. Okay, here's the shop. That's my room, heading on to the back room. I made sure that I pressed print when I was in the parking lot so that it would be ready in time. So here it comes. Come on, slap it down. Try to see if we're lucky. Grab the wood. Is it gonna fit? That's what she said. Boom, nailed it. Looks great. Okay, that took a little longer than expected, so I gotta start uh, preparing my coming home speech, so. It was such a long line at Duncan. I got mugged. All the workers just decided to quit, and there was just one person behind the register. And you've seen the thing about aliens on the news recently, right? I think I was abducted. Where did the time go? There was a kitten in a tree. I, who else was gonna save it? So right now, Lisette is at work. I'm not sure when she'll be home, but we're gonna transfer this onto this using this and I'm gonna walk you through the process and show you how now. Okay, I got everything I need here. So I have graphite paper, I have my canvas, my sketch, tape, and a pen. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the graphite paper. So you want the shiny side down and you're gonna position the image that you wanna transfer on top of it. And then you're gonna tape that down good and once it's all taped down, all you're gonna do is trace over it. The pressure from the pen will transfer the graphite onto the canvas. And then when you're done, it should look something like this. But I made a mistake. I was wondering why everything fit better on the piece of wood at the shop and it's because I transferred that onto the wrong side. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put it on the other side now. But just remember, there's no mistakes, just more content. So enjoy. This may not seem like a big deal, but it's off because the way I drew it was the way that I'm showing you right now. So I retraced it and did it correctly. Don't be lazy, go fix it. And now I can start painting. And now the first blob of paint is on the wood. If you're curious what paints I'm using, they are golden acrylic paints. I'm going to be using these acrylic paints for the entire painting, as well as Trakel brushes. As far as my approach for this painting goes, I'm just trying to base all of the tones in and kind of like go with a dark slash medium paint and then add a lighter tone and use the soft dry brush to blend it together. I haven't painted with acrylics in a long time, but this was a lot of fun, especially when things get to a dry part where they dry, where the paint dries onto the wood. And then I can go back and do a glazing process where I'm just thinning out the acrylic paint and then just kind of glazing some different colors over certain sections. 
I will definitely get into that more further into the video. You'll see me use actually a hairdryer just to kind of speed up some of the uh, drying process. And that's actually a great tool in case you're not sure if the painting is dry. I listen, I'm going to tell you not to use your finger and touch it, but like I've done it too. And I got to say, if you're not sure, just, just blow dry it. Just use the blow dryer, make sure it's dry before you go and smudge it and ruin it. It's not worth your time. Work smarter, not harder, as they say. Getting back to what I'm doing here, I am now adding some highlights, but we are almost ready to get onto that hat, so I need a reference. All right, there it is, that's the hat, and I think it's gonna be an awesome color next to all the pinks and purples, all those cool tones with this nice, kind of cool warm tone, I guess. It's It's got a lot of like a yellow hue to it, so you can see to the right of me, I left my palette out so you guys can see. Um, I kind of just mixed a bunch of greens and yellows with some white, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. It's like a, like a weird highlighter color. <laughs> and now I'm just building up some more layers here. It's, I gotta say, it's really fun painting on wood. And even though there's this like crack right in that area, I don't know, I kind of like it. I like how there's like a texture. It's super smooth as far as a surface to paint on wood in general. But when you get these little imperfections, I think there's something just really neat about them. I think it adds character to the character. And here's a little bit of that glazing process I was talking about. I thinned out my paint and I used a little bit of a like yellowy color in the eye to just kind of glaze over it since the eye was dry. And there's the blow dryer I mentioned earlier. And now I'm doing a little more glazing. I'm using my matte medium to just kind of thin the paint and just spread this along. Just add these nice hues and almost like it has like a little bit of a, a secondary light effect, like an orangey glow. I'm definitely getting close to the end here. Just some final touches. And while we're on the topic of final touches, make sure you touch your keyboard and type in kboart.com. That's right. If you guys want to support me more, feel free to head on over to my website where I've got plenty of merch. I've got original artworks, prints, uh, pins, stickers, apparel. Yeah, just check it out. Maybe get yourself something. No pressure. Thanks, guys. And now back to painting. Just some final details here on the painting and then I can let it dry and I'm gonna have to spray it with some clear coat to protect it, but I gotta get some from the art store. All right, I just picked up some clear coat from the art store to coat the painting and I think it's a sign because this is the art store that I painted a giant flamingo on. I know it's hard to see, it's nighttime, but yeah. And since Enzo was so patient today, I had to take a quick break to play with him while I was outside spraying this. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? <laughs> okay, I think the painting's done. I gotta let it dry a little bit more and then I can get pictures, video, all those final detail things. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta make a box. I gotta wrap this thing up. So we're gonna do that now. Remember on the back side, I have this. So I'm going to slap this on there. And now the calming sounds of packing. All right, it looks a whole lot better now that it's wrapped with wrapping paper. You can't even tell. So now I'm going to hide it away and uh, yeah, wait till her birthday. So we'll see if she likes it. Okay, you got your present. Yes. Ready to open it? Can I shake it first? <laughs> you can shake it if you want to. Okay, okay hold on. I got to get you something before you open it real quick. Okay, I'm going to give you this because that'll help open it. Okay. And then I can pull apart. start opening. Very beautiful wrapping, by the way. Like, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Thank you. I love the custom box. It's an egg gorgeous the thing. Check 
you put so much bubble. I knew you were gonna shake it. <laughs> Before you go any further. Okay. Can you can you put that on? My hat. I don't want you to ruin your hair. I don't have to wear a hat to open a <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> when did you paint this without me knowing? <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. It's here's a flamingo. It's here's a flamingo. <laughs> the side by side with the hat is great. Right? Look with the. Guys, that's it. That's a wrap. I'm so glad she loved the painting. And if you guys are interested in seeing her artwork as well, I'm leaving her info on the screen now so you can check out her website and her Instagram. And also, most importantly, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to write in the comments, happy birthday, Lisette. Thank you guys so much as always. I appreciate you. I'll catch you soon.